15, 20 years and not be measured on whether they're graduating students who are able to comprehend the subject matter and go on to a UC or state college campus? Where is the responsibility and accountability for teachers who are allowed to continue failing children 50 to 60% rate? We need to ask who's responsible for keeping those teachers in a position where they're not performing for the best of our children. We don't even look at gains in student learning when we talk about teacher quality. We don't pay teachers based on that. We don't really even have the data to be able to tell you which teachers produce the biggest gains in student achievement. Why aren't we doing anything about it? Quite frankly, because no one wants to. And what's worse is the federal law, No Child Left Behind, actually allows it to happen by this little provision called the comparability provisions of No Child Left Behind. We have the best students in the nation here, by the way. We won the National Academic Decathlon four out of the last six years, and a lot of those kids are out in the valley. They're fantastic children. What happens out there is you have a much more stable environment in terms of teachers. You have teachers who have been teaching out there for 10, 15 years. They are real pros as opposed to over here where you have the young two, three year teachers who come in and they are constantly turning over. And the other piece is these children, because of their poverty, don't get the same resources, especially when it comes to after school pieces, as say the children out in the valley. When a school in a suburban neighborhood is spending a million dollars more than a school in the very same district on its teachers, we would hope, one would think, equity should dictate that the school that is spending far less on its teachers gets that money someplace else. The problem is, until very recently, our state actually lied about these data. That's why it was called the hidden teacher spending gap. Because parents across the state, when they got their school accountability report cards, those parents saw the exact same number spent on teachers as did the parents at Granada Hills High School. Yet, in truth, Granada Hills was spending a million dollars more on its teachers than Locke High School. The state and districts allowed this to happen through an arcane budgeting procedure they call 